Why are fairies constantly referenced in Scotland and Ireland? From the fairy pools on the Isle of Skye to fairy trees in Ireland, it is remarkable how many things are named after fairies, and for good reason, as fairies play a significant role in the mythology and folklore of these countries. Now as soon as I start talking about fairies, you'd be forgiven for thinking that I've lost my mind, or away with the fairies as we say in Scotland. But don't worry, I'm no more crazy than I was last week. On its surface, fairies may sound like a silly subject, but there is a whole lot more to this subject than mere stupidity. Now today I've come to Aberfoyle, a reputed home of the fairies. In Scotland, you can randomly come across stories of fairies even when you're not looking for them. A few weeks ago, when I went to visit the capital of Dalriada, Dunad, I randomly came across yet another story about fairies. A stone carved ball was found there from thousands of years ago. According to local legend, stone balls and other artifacts imbued with magical powers were abandoned by fairies at the bottom of the hill fort. Tons of glens, bridges and walks are named after fairies in Scotland. The Fairy Glen in Rosemarkey is one for instance, known for its well-dressing ceremonies, where local children would decorate springs with flowers in the hope that the fairies would keep the water clean. Another is the Fairy Bridge on the Isle of Skye, where local legend states that the chief of the old clan MacLeod married a fairy princess before she had to return to fairy land. In Ireland, there is an old tradition of fairy trees. I'll put a link to a video in the description below. Essentially, some farmers won't clear certain trees or bushes, even though it'd be more profitable to do so, as they believe they belong to the fairies or the other world. Others tell tales of fairies putting the stray on people, essentially leading them astray and putting them under some sort of spell. Yet what's some of the mythology behind this? The East She is an Irish name for a supernatural race in Celtic mythology. They are thought to be the descendants of fallen angels or the Tuadhe Danann, meaning the folk of the goddess Danu. The Tuadhe Danann play an important role in Irish mythology. They are said to exist in the Celtic other world, a realm where deities and possibly the dead reside. It is said that some can reach the other world by entering ancient burial mounds or caves, or by going underwater or across the western sea. The East Shi are said to live in underground fairy forts in an invisible parallel universe that coexists with the human realm, and that these entities can influence the human realm. Fairy forts themselves are said to be the remains of stone circles, ring forts, hill forts, or other circular prehistoric dwellings, which have been imbued with magic by druids. What else is said about fairies in general? Some say that they don't like being called fairies, and apparently green is their colour. As opposed to being either angelic or devilish, fairies seem to be both depending on the context, and they often are said to use trickery. I'm sure after this video, you'll notice just how many things in Scotland and Ireland are named after fairies, and some of the reasons for this. Please let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. If you would like to support this work through Patreon, buymeacoffee.com, or make a donation through PayPal, please do so via the links in the description below. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll speak to you soon.